Hey, this is my first ever video of me actually talking to the camera. So, yeah, I'm going to be doing a look of this. I'm here. This a cat, smoky cat eye look. Um, you're gonna see how to do it. Just keep watching. Bye. Okay. Hey guys. So, I will be doing. Okay. Should I do? Wait. Or. Okay, so as the title as the title says, I'm going to be doing a smoky cat eye eyeshadow look today. Okay, using the Dr. Hill palette, of course. What else? Um, we starting with this color up here. This color up here. We starting with silk green. With a big brush like this called the DH30. So Dr. Hill's brush set. That color I just like put all over, basically. I could put all over because. It's such a light shade. It's such a light shade. It's basically like my skin tone exactly. Okay. So now we'll be taking the JH thirty two brush. Okay. Now we'll be using butter. Obviously, what else? I mean, that color is just my favorite. So this color right here, this brush. And I'll just be putting that in my crease. See the space between the eyebrow and the eyelid right here? That's a crease. I did the other side completely different than this. I did the eyeliner first. I did the liner first. But it just, I feel like, didn't work I'm just basically tapping in like twice and then tapping it up like three times, three or four times. To, I mean, to not get fallout, fallout, but I mean with, with Jacqueline's palette, you don't really get fall, fallout except for the, except for the dark colors, like the black and the dark purples and the dark green. Okay, so just put that in there. Now I'm going back with the JH30 and just blending that even more. If you lift the eyebrow, it's better because you know it's your eye your eyelid would be smooth. So it's like this. See all the lines like this? Everything is just like smooth and Pretty and quick and easy and just everything is just smooth. See, like so. Now I'm taking the JH33. It's like the Morphe M433, and I will be I will be mixing this color here with this color here buns. So I'll be mixing buns and I'm not sure what that's called. I forgot. So buns and that color. Okay. Tapping on like twice. Sure now and start taking it outwards now. Because that's where our um wing is gonna start. Do not be scared to take it high up because I have a lot of space between my eyelid and my brow bone. So don't remember to take it out or else it's, you know it's not gonna be seen that much. So now I'm just taking the JH32 again with butter and we're gonna blend that out. So I'm holding my brush right here to get in there get in there and to not put as much pressure holding the brush from far away further away so just blend 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 so I'll look far away to see what's happening I'll go back and forth with these after I've done the wing which is right now so I'm just taking 
the, this is the remote exaggerate waterproof eye definer okay can you see that or can you not it is the Remo Exaggerate Waterproof Eye Definer in Noir, 261 Noir, it says. Basically, this is just like a pencil liner. I look cold, so it's creamy. And I'm going to put this all over my um, lash line. And create a wing also. So I'm using this just, just to give me a guide for the black shadow later on. I'm also putting this in my bottom and top waterline, so I go like that. Close my eye and kind of try to get it on the top without poking myself. So just get it on there really well, really well. I'm done with that. Now we're taking a black shadow. So now I'm taking the JH43 with the black shadow inside this palette. I think it's called, what is it called? Abyss? I think it's called Abyss. Okay, so I'm just packing it on my brush. Tapping everything off. This is the actual first thing I did on the other side. Actually, what I'm going to do here is to go with a waterline and kind of blend it down. And kind of connect the bottom to the top. Okay, okay. So I'm gonna show you what. So go in here and down. Okay, go on it and down. Okay. So on the one line and down. And because Jacqueline Hill's so cream color is exactly my skin tone, I just take this big brush on the color and kind of dust off any fallout I have. So we'll continue the bottom lash line later. Okay, so now I'm taking the again, the JH43 again. I'm just doing the same thing on the top, okay? So. Just really going to blend that out. Blend it out and up. Blend it out and up. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Just basically putting this on and just like rubbing the pores. Okay. I'm just gonna do the wing. Now, I'm just taking the JH40, so it's a mobile new brush. Oh, I should show this color. Actually, I'm gonna mix these two colors together here. This dark one here, and this one up here. These two. I'm gonna mix those two together. Okay. I'm just gonna go on top of that.
with the same two colors. I'm just bringing them on top of the wing now to blend the wing out. You see that? I'm just gonna pat that a little bit on there to get the color. To, um, to get to just get it to show up more right there. Okay, I keep pausing because I don't have a lot of time in my phone. Like I have only half an hour to film. Um, but I don't need to because I have plenty of time left. Okay, now just taking the, those two same two colors as before. The um, I don't know what the shade is called. <laughs> Enhance those two and tap them off the access and going in here now. Okay. I really like these brushes. I mean, they're basically the Morphe ones, you know, but but she kind of like repackaged them and made a few new brushes, which I love, by the way. I love these brushes so much. Especially this really giant one I use for everything, for a lot of things. I mean, oh my god. <clears throat> I hope I'm not talking. Like, I hope you can hear me. I'm not talking like Wait, can you see what I'm doing? Keep covering. Hopefully, I mean, you can. Hopefully, you can understand what I'm doing with what I'm saying. Just by watching. Okay, now I'm taking the red brush again. The JH32 with butter. And just really blending that out. So now I'm taking the brush I use. The buns color and the other shade on, which is the JH JH thirty three, and I'm taking that color. color. Well, those two colors, the dark ones that I used, I'm just bring it, I'm just blending those, just mixing those two and putting them up here, just create a little bit more of a wing out here. I'm gonna be on the other side. Okay, I'm blending it with the JH. 32 again, yep. Just going to blend that out. I need to get real close in here because I have glasses. So I don't have good, that great sight. So I'm going to take silk cream again. Just going to kind of clean it up a little bit here. I love how clean this side is compared to the other side. Right, so clean. Just putting that right there. Okay. This side came so much better. I love this side more for sure. Okay. I really watch a horror movie right now. Actually, I was watching one earlier, but then I had to, you know, start so I stop. So now I'm doing the bottom lash line. Taking the same brush from before, the JH43, the definer brush with the black. I'm taking a little bit more black here. I'm gonna blend it just a bit. I'm taking. I'm taking, so I bought the eye brush set, the master, the eye master brush set from Jacqueline Hill, from Jacqueline and Morphe, from basically the Morphe and Jacqueline Hill brush set, brush sets, and they didn't have this, this is the GH38, they had a, an eye highlighter brush, so I was like, okay, let me just buy this, okay, then I'm using those two dark shades, but only the lighter one of the two. Like super dark ones, but the lighter one from the two. Adjust it. 
Okay, I'm sorry, I'm just putting it that on the lash line with this brush. Just gonna take the, the darker one too now. The darkest, I mean. And lastly, I'm taking this JH thirty three brush again, with um those two shades from the four buns and the other color. And the other color, I mean. I don't know what that is called. Is it called Jacks or Roxanne? I'm not sure. Okay, I think. I like, I think I like that. <laughs> I think I'm okay with that. Okay, so I'm just taking now. Ugh, ugh, that's never gonna blend perfectly. I'm just, I'm just over blending, to be honest. Like, I'm over blending that. No, I wanna stay that way, but I think stay that way. Like, I'm done with you. Okay, I'm taking the JH. 42 with in light. Okay, so I've got this second color right here. Oh my god, I scratch shadow. No, I didn't. I got this color here. And what? It's so beautiful. I'm obsessed with that. I'm just. Okay, too much on there. Too much on there. I'm putting that on my brow bone. On my brow bone, I guess. On, on, not in. I do like that is I take the JH thirty two again, just kinda like blend it a little bit. It's still popping though. Popping. I love that word. Popping. Does Jacqueline say that or just did I just come up with it? Not come. Did, does Jacqueline say that or did I just like start saying it myself? Who knows? Who knows? Okay. And then finally, I'm taking the JH39 with the same color. Okay. Seven pants long. Okay. Just bring it in here. Bringing it in here. I'm trying not to take the highlight as much out and up and everywhere as I used to. I'm trying to learn, you know? Um, so I've been practicing makeup. For about seven years, well, almost seven years. So I haven't like I haven't done a course or anything. So I haven't like so you know I'm still learning, you know. But practice makes perfect. You know, of course you do. You feel like you have to practice, you know. And as time goes by, you know you learn. Time goes by, you learn. Time goes by, you learn. You'll get really good at what you do. You just have to let time pass by, you know, and you'll learn. So you can still clean with this brush again. Just kind of going to do that. I'm trying to clean it pretty much. Okay. You have to be careful when you're using dark colors. Ugh, I love this color. Oh my, okay, okay, too much, too much again. When you're using dark colors, try not to take your highlight um, too far. My cat, what is he doing? He's always meowing. I mean, he's a cat, you know? Oh, God. Okay. So obsessed with the same floss. Okay. Lash, lash is time now. Fake lash time. Okay. So, let me curl my lashes a little bit. I'm 
Yes, my lash color is really dirty. I need to clean it. Okay, and then for mascara, I'm using the um, Maybelline Great Lash Waterproof Mascara. My head's a little dried up a little bit though. So I'll try to get in there real well. And obviously do the bottom lashes. I always do that. Bottom. God, I have fall out of my face. And my foundation doesn't look good. Has a little hairs just. A lot of dots everywhere. It's okay. I don't look fully like how the foundation is looking on my face right now. It's a beautiful foundation. I'm talking about the. Makeup, I mean Revolution Fast Base Foundation Stick. It's a good foundation, but my skin's a little dry right now, though. God, there's a mascara underneath. You would get mascara anywhere, just let it dry. And then just try to wipe it off, but you have to let it dry first. I'll show you later. I'll show you. And then the bottom lashes. Of course, the bottom lashes. I have to do. Hair everywhere. <laughs> I do two coats in the bottom. One coat on top because I'm gonna do lashes, you know. Usually I dry and then do another coat, but like I'm gonna do it immediately like oh, here right now. Plus I'm really hungry. I have to eat. I have to go eat. I'm not going out or anything. <laughs> I'm gonna go with this makeup. I would go with this makeup look at night time. I mean, I don't really care because I want makeup and I don't care about wearing a makeup or a little bit of makeup. Who cares? Okay. I'm going to do the other side of my, with mascara, put on some lashes, and that's it. I don't need to do a, a quick liner on top or anything. I'm cool this way. So I'm just, again, going to put on mascara on the other side, put on fake lashes, and yeah, and that's it. So now that the mascara has dried underneath here, I'm taking silk cream on this brush again. And I'm just gonna just I'm just going to do this. And see it's gone. I like that color actually for my whole face. Like it matches me perfectly. For some reason I keep I always get black on my upper lip. Always. And I'm doing Makeup. Like, I don't know why. So, I'm doing I'm gonna do lashes. Put on some lashes. I'm gonna be right back. This is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. Um, please like, subscribe, and comment. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.